Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi guys, it's Steve from One Minute Tennis Coach here. Today I want to talk to you about the two-handed backhand. The two-handed backhand is a robotic and kind of mechanical motion. When watching the best players in the world, then we find that the two-handed backhand is not really the shot that creates the most winners, even for the best in the world, like Jokovic, but it also is the shot that is probably the most reliable because of the mechanical nature of its movements. So I want to show you a solution to one of the most common and most natural problems that players get on their two-handed backhands. And I've even seen this done at very, very high level, where the backhand, uh, such as Berrettini, has a very consistent backhand, but he really can't generate power. As we take the racket back, I want you to imagine that we have a ceiling for the racket here, and we want to try and move broadly along that ceiling. If we take the racket back going up or going down, then it's somewhat inefficient. So we go along the ceiling, but the natural thing to happen as we take the racket back that way is that the racket face will open a little bit to the sky. Then we make the stroke and we have a flat stroke that often becomes very pushy because the ball is elevated a little and it's very easy to hit it long. But if you look at the greatest backhands there's ever been, as the racket goes back along this ceiling, then the racket face is closed to the ground. It isn't allowed to naturally stay neutral. It isn't allowed to naturally, for some people, open, but it actually is consciously closed to the ground. Then go through the stroke and swing. If you get the beginning of the stroke right, going along the ceiling and closing the racket face, then naturally you will lift the ball and create effect and topspin. This makes for a safer stroke, it makes for stronger hitting and for more confidence, as you can hit the ball harder and drive through it and still keep the ball under control. This is not difficult to do because everything that you have to think about takes place before the swing through the ball. Try this in your game or your player's game. See how this advice generates power in your backhand. Let us know how it goes. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. It makes a big difference to us as we try to make a complicated game as simple as possible. Hope you enjoyed today's session and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.